What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Steam Deck gameplay for you guys today, and today we are going to check out some Project Cars 3. Now, if I recall, this game is more of one of those more, like, a sim racer type games, so it's probably better played with a racing wheel and whatnot if you want the best control over your car and whatnot, but we're gonna try with a controller because that's what the Steam Deck gives you. You don't get a, you don't get a mini racing wheel or anything with this guy, so we'll make do with what we got. Now, don't get me wrong, I've always wanted a racing wheel, but I've never had any space for it, so. Hopefully at my new place, I'll have enough space for one. But only time will tell once I get all moved in there and we'll see. But anyway, so basic plan is we're going to play this game on the Steam Deck a little. Go through all the settings. We're going to start on maxed out as I usually do. It's not going to go well, but we always do that anyway just for fun. And then we'll just go through all the settings. And then at the very end, we will get my settings that I believe run the best after sitting there and tinkering for a little while. And then after that, we will move on to the laptop, get 1080p and 1440. Then we'll do the secondary computer and then finish it up with the primary computer. So let's not waste any more time and let's go get started shall we all right guys before we hop into the game let's go ahead and take a quick look at the settings we're just going to pretty much max this thing out i think there's one setting i forgot to switch all the way to ultra i think particle density could have gone up to ultra but yeah that just would have made things way worse as you will certainly see here in a second once we get into the game it does not get exactly great fps well, all right here we go uh, we got the game maxed out, and as you can plainly see, we're getting a whopping 13 FPS here. And I don't know about you guys, but that is far from playable for me. Although, let's see how far that goes. Let's see how well I can play. Fuck it. Normally, I would just say, oh, well, whatever. Fuck it. This is horrid. I'll get like five seconds of this and just quit. But let's see, let's see if I can actually complete a lap or the race or anything at all. <laughs> I mean, if I could actually do this whole race and not be in last place, getting like 16 FPS, that would be pretty fucking hilarious in my opinion. Oh, fuck. Two sideways. It is not easy to drive like this, I can assure you of that. And plus, this is the first time I've ever played this game on the Steam Deck. And I have no sound either, which is why I went, put it in automatic mode. And I went to this view because I figured it puts more strain having to do my car and everyone else's car versus just being in my cockpit. I drive much better in cockpit view or on hood view. Lately in cockpit view, because it makes me feel like I'm just sitting in a real car. At least that's what I was doing in Forza Horizon, but as we all know, Forza Horizon is not exactly the epitome of realism and realism. <laughs> it's handling is a little bit more realistic than say, uh, need for speed or something like that, but it's still nothing on a game like this. I think this game is way more closer to be being considered a sim. I don't know if it technically is, because I know there's ones that are way crazier than this, like Astelio Corsetia or whatever that other one is. I'm probably butchering that fucking name, but... Hey, I got a perfect corner, even though I smashed into a wall. I don't know how that works, but I'll take it. Well, whatever. At least I got done with one lap and I wasn't in last place, so I'll take that. Let's go move on. All right, now let's do high settings. So let's go through them real fast. There's not really that many settings to this game, really. So there we go. So why don't we now that we've gotten to the bottom, go ahead and hop on into the game and see how it handles it now. Probably still not going to be playable, but just for fun. All right, here we go on high doesn't really look like we got too much more FPS. It's definitely more playable. We got 17 versus 13, but still not playable. I consider anything over 30 barely playable in my opinion, but as long as you can lock it to 30, it's not so bad, especially with a controller. Keyboard and mouse, whole nother story. I couldn't even play a game with a keyboard and mouse at 30 FPS. It's just not happening. I would just not play that game at all. But that's of course just me and just my opinion. Doesn't mean no one can do that. If you can, cool. That's just not my idea of a great time. I like 60 plus. Ah, fucker. Well, that sucked. I'd been dead as shit. Oh yeah, I forced myself into a drift by basically getting in between a bunch of cars. 
That was really fun. Hell, doing all this record is making me want to go out and take a drive. I might just do that before I even get done with these voiceovers. Because right now my damn car still got a problem. I got my Lincoln back, everything's working again, but at night anyway, it's got a light that likes to come off or turn off. I should just, you know, go out there right now before I start my journey and just see if it's just simple, as simple as a loose connection, you know? That thing's been apart and back together so many fucking times. The more you take something apart and put it back together, the more likely it's going to have shit, you know, get loose over time or not want to stay connected. Ah, well, that, I botched that, or botched that up pretty fucking bad. Well, whatever. We'll just cross over the finish line. And now, we can go ahead and oh, move on to the now. next graphic setting. Now for some medium settings. And there we go. Almost at the bottom here. All right. That is the bottom now. All that's left is the reset to defaults tab, and we don't want to do that. We want to play at medium. So let's go now and hop into the game. Well, now let's try medium. And at least now with medium, we're getting to 30 FPS, so that's good. I didn't even in the 40s. Cool. Still dropping into the 30s a little bit, though, so I'm probably going to end up locking this one to 30. Which means I still probably won't be able to race that well. But it'll, this is still a million percent better than 16 and 13 and all that nonsense, so. Oh shit, oh shit. Alright, cool. I thought I was gonna not be able to break and just have to slam through all of those guys. I'm in quite an old Evo at this point. But it's still a fucking awesome Evo. Just because something's old doesn't mean it's crap. I mean, look at that. It can even power slide. Can't really do that with a front-wheel drive unless you hit the E-brake, but that's not really quite the same. It's not your drive wheels spinning the tires, drifting, and power slide. And you're just kind of like, you're just kind of hand-breaking it. It's more of a parking brake than an emergency brake in the first place. Parking brake, yeah, even. Anyway, let's get through this fucking place. Nope, I'm gonna tap my ass end. Yep, tap to the tap to the end of that thing on that wall. That would definitely not be good in real life. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Well, that sucked. I should have backed up, but I was like, no, that'll take even longer. We're just gonna go for it. I just wanna get over that fucking finish line. Rally around 12, 13 again. Anyway, let's move on. All right, so now we got ourselves a little low. So let's cruise through these settings real quick first. And then after done with low, we'll do my settings after that. And then we'll get a little camera gameplay of my settings as well. All right. Speaking of which, that is the bottom. So now let's go into that game and see how low does. Well, here we go with low. And by the looks of it, it looks to have picked up a couple FPS here. We're almost at 50 right off the start. So hell, at some parts, it might even almost hit 60 but does not look like a very great looking car game anymore. So not worth it in my opinion, but here you go. If all you're concerned with is FPS and you don't want to limit it to 30 or 40 or anything, you can uh, reverse pit maneuver a Honda like that and crash into a wall. But anyway, let's get back on track here, pun intended. Still though, there are a lot of people out there that would rather just have the FPS and don't give two shits about what the game looks like. Uh, 
Trying to chase these motherfuckers down. I don't think so, GT86. Unless you're highly modified, I don't think you're out pulling a freaking Evo. Still though, we're 10th now instead of 12th or 13th, so I definitely did a teeny teeny tiny bit better this time. But anyway, now let's move on to my settings, shall we? Now we shall try my settings out. So I went with high for the texture resolution because I want that to look good. Textures are important in a game. That's kind of what makes it look good. Same thing with car, deal car detail. We're looking at cars a lot in a car game. I want that to be pretty decently high. And everything else is a mixture of high and low, so. Obviously, if I went too fast, you can give it a pause and check it out and put these settings in yourself. But anyway, to the game. Well, now, here we go with my settings. And when we do the camera record portion, I'm going to lock it to 30. But I figured for screen record, as usual, we'll just let it go unrestricted just to see what my settings can do unhindered. But they can't quite stay above 40 the whole time. So that's why I went with 30. But it's still not doing too bad, at least here. We're in the 50s. You could also try 40 out if it doesn't bother you. It seems like it stays in the 40s a little bit more than I thought. I was concentrating a lot more on driving. Well, hell yeah, my settings work even better than I gave them credit for. So if you lock it to 30 or 40, it'll be pretty good. See, we're down to exactly 40, 39. I mean, do we really care about 39? I think if we were at 40, it'd still be okay. Maybe I should have done 40. Oh well, though. That's why everybody can make their own decisions. They can take my settings and do whatever they want. They can add a few more high in. They can take some high and put some medium in. They can do whatever they want. They're just a baseline to what I think is playable. On the Steam Deck or whatever else I'm playing on. Um, usually the desktops don't need to go through all the settings. Not unless I'm doing something like the Elden Ring thing where I was going through all the different ray tracing levels just to see what kind of FPS hit that took and man even my desktops can't handle that game they handled it easily without well enough size the Steam Deck they all handled it easily without a game maxed out I needed to fuck with the Steam Deck a little to get it good and I had to set it up 30 FPS but I'll take it in a handheld it's pretty much a handheld PS4 I'll take it you know most games on the PS4 if you had decent decent ish graphics they were 30 FPS there wasn't that many titles that were 60 because of that garbage Jaguar CPU that was in there. So glad they got a, a Zen 2 CPU now. It may not boost, but it's still 8 billion times better than that crappy Jaguar. But in any case, why don't we now go ahead and move on to some camera. Well, all right, guys. Let's get a little camera gameplay in. And I'm going to limit it to 30 FPS. Just wanted to show you that real quick. And that's how I would play this instead of having the FPS bouncing all over the place. Hey, at least now I have sound. This is the first time I've had sound. I'm not used to being in this a view while driving and racing games, and I'm also not used to using automatic, but when you can't hear until, you know, you get to this point in the video, it's kind of like, okay, yeah, you probably should go automatic or you're just going to be sitting there going, dang, 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 dang. why aren't I going anywhere, you know? Yeah, it's been a while since I played a racing game, too. I haven't played even Forza in a while, and it's not like Forza Horizon is, is you know, super realistic. More realistic than, say, Need for Speed, but compared to something like this, you know, not even close. I went way too fucking sideways. That, and I don't think I'm very good at playing these kinds of games with 
30 FPS either, but I still want it to look halfway decent. So I tried to make like the environment and the cars look halfway good with high settings and then pretty much did medium and low with everything else as you saw in my settings. These are the same settings I used for the screen reported portion. Didn't change anything on you guys. Yeah, I'm breaking too early too, damn it. Well, let's see if I can't catch up to these guys. There's also just some part up here where they can all go around the corner with like outbreaking or doing anything, but anytime I try it, my ass end hits the fucking wall. There we go. Out around that guy. Still hit the damn fucking corner, though. And I always fuck up there because I don't want to mess with the wheel a bunch and like spin out, but I mean, if I keep hitting the tires and spinning out, that's not really doing any better. Alright, we're in the dirt. We're in the dirt. We gotta get out of the dirt. There we go. Go, Evo, go! Hmm, we got backfires coming out of this bitch. Well, I certainly don't think I'm winning this race. Nope. I was 11th. I did horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. But at least we got ourselves some camera recorded gameplay, so it is what it is. Hopefully I can do better when we get to the laptop, because hopefully we can get like 60-ish FPS on that guy. But only time will tell. But let's go wrap this video on up now. Well, all right, guys. That is a wrap for Project Cars 3 on the Steam Deck anyway, and it handled it all right with my settings. Obviously, we weren't going to be playing it on high or ultra, but medium got us to 30-ish. Low got us, you know, almost in the 60s at some points in the game, but still dropped down to the 40s, so no matter what, you're not getting a 60 FPS experience in this game either, so I decided to go with a 30 so I could have some things on high, like the cars and the environment. At least, you know, make the two things you look at the most look the best, and then just limit it to 30. I figured that worked out pretty good. Now, I don't drive very good at 30 FPS, but hey, I drive a lot better at 30 FPS than I did at 11 to 13, which was we were at, at Ultra. That did not go well. Surprised I wasn't in last place the whole time in that one. But anyway, that is about all I got for you guys for this particular video. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.